Hello boys, hello girls, this is Tony Gonzalez from Made in Metal and now we are going to interview the bass player Alberto Rigoni from the Italian band Baras but he is going to introduce himself. Hello Alberto. Hello rockers, this is Alberto Rigoni from Italy and I'm the bass player and the founder of the Italian metal band Baras. Hello Tony. Um, Thanks for this interview, and you are watching Made Thank in you. Metal. So, okay, let's start with the questions. So, Alberto, I hope that you, your family, and the bands are healthy. Well, thanks for asking. The band uh, is uh, very healthy. Uh, we are all safe. Uh, it has been a very hard period but fortunately the lockdown is over and we are we feel much better indeed i would like to ask you first a formal question for example why the band changed its name from badass to bad ass well um when i founded the band uh, i called him badass but after the release of the first album more pain more gain we had some bad feedback on the name it seemed uh, a bit too much uh, pretentious so we decided to to change to bad as uh leaving up to the imagination of the listener what follows bad as so bad as rock uh, whatever from your first cd to the third the band has changed a lot apart from the name 50 percent of the band lineup has changed it and maybe i think that the music changed too you tell me yes after the the first album more pain more gain we decide for various reason uh to to change the lineup so we had uh marino de bortoli at the drums and uh, mattia martin uh, on the vocals And of course, the music changed a lot also because um, the singer uh, started uh, writing uh, songs for the, the second album, Midnight Course. So we moved um, from a kind of trash metal uh, to a more alternative metal with many influences. So, yes, indeed, uh, quite different uh, music uh, still keeping some features uh, of, of the, the previous lineup if we compare your cd debut more pain more gain with crucify society we can hear that the bass sound different different is this correct or is my mistake well yes on uh, more pain more gain um, The, the bass uh, was uh, really loud in the mix and also I uh, used a lot of distortion, fuzz while in the, uh, in the second album in End Course and on Crucified Society the bass is less distorted and it's more into the mix Where does the band found the singer Mattia Martin? He's an extraordinary singer Well, uh, when we were searching for a new, new singer, uh, we did many auditions, but we were not happy. Then we have been very lucky, and a friend suggested us to, con to, to contact Mattia Martin, which is also very close to our uh, town. We did a rehearsal, and we we felt uh, he was the right one. He is young and super talented, great voice and great composer, so we decided to keep him uh, in the band. In the new CD there is a lot of interesting songs. One is Endless Race, inspired by the Deep Purple classic Speak King. Please tell me more about the song. Well, Endless Race, uh, it's, uh, it was written by Mattia Martin and it's a kind of uh, yeah it's a more fast song really moving and indeed there are uh, many influences um, 
by bands such as Deep Purple and we did a lyric video on that song uh, because it's one of our, our favorite one and I can't say more because uh, it was composed by Mattia so uh, it's more in his mind uh, but you can contact him uh, through Facebook and uh, ask him. Another track I consider is inspired in the music of Deep Purple is the Black Neck Tornado. Is that right? Yeah, another song uh, uh, in Deep Purple style is uh, Black Neck Tornado, but um, that one was uh, written by me. But I think it's a bit more uh, progressive. Um, because I'm influenced uh, my background it's uh, prog progressive metal for, from Dream Theater to Symphony X uh, um, band uh, such da such damn so it's not really the purple in my opinion it's, it's a more a mix of different influences um, but uh, it's a kind of cool song Another song is Freedom. It's really a crazy song. It's the most progressive song on the CD. Why? Yeah, uh, Freedom uh, it was written by me. And so, as I said before, um, it's very progressive. Uh, it's more progressive than the other songs. And it has uh, the reason why it's in this way is because, as I said before, I, I, I'm really influenced by progressive rock band uh, also instrumental uh, prog music so that's why apart from the band you are involved in many different projects at the same time how many are then yeah i'm involved in many projects i have my solo project uh, i'm going to release my uh, ninth um, solo album called Odd, Odd, Odd Times and features uh, Marco Mineman on drums and Alexander Zellner uh, on uh, keyboards and uh, guitars it's going to be released on July then I'm part of uh, the Vivaldi Metal Project uh, I also have a pop, uh, let's say Brit pop uh, uh, band called the Italians, um, and then I, I I record for bass for many artists all the all around the world, and also I'm now, now going to produce a new project uh, which will be called Natural Born Machine, and I don't know when it will be released but it's uh it will be a, a heavy rock melodic album i'm also playing uh, for a canadian singer kim bingham uh, she is a great songwriter and a singer and it's a he did uh, many great rock rock albums in your solo career you work with marco miniman did you think to invite it to join but us when the last drummer Dancy Novello quit the band? Well, uh, when uh, we we searched for uh, another drummer, uh, we, we we were looking for someone in our country, and uh, even if of course Marco Miniman is one of my favorite drummer, he is from the USA, so that was uh, simply not possible. Is the band planning on a strategy when the COVID-19 finish? Well, uh, with COVID, uh, even if uh, the lockdown is over, uh, it's all unpredictable. We are st we are already working on our fourth album, and uh, yes, we are planning on doing tours uh, or and gigs, but we don't know when exactly. We were supposed to, to be in tour with uh, Black Sabbath Vini Apice drummer um, now, but uh, all was cancelled. So that's it for now. Is there someone else that you would like to tell us? Well, uh, 
what can I say? Well, first of all, thanks for watching, thanks for interview. Keep on rocking and stay strong during these uh, odd times and hard times. Rock on and ciao! Thank you, Alberto, for your time and bye-bye. Uh, so, and you who are listening to us and watching to us, please, this is Tony Gonzalez. This was Made in Metal interviewing the bass player Alberto Rigoni from the band Badass. And I would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel if you consider. Apart from this, what else can I say? Bye-bye.